In this dimly lit room, I've got a flask that has alcohol in it. There's only a little bit of alcohol, but it's evaporating. So there's a lot of alcohol vapor in the flask. I also have this nut that is hanging from a metal rod. The important thing is what it's hanging with. This is a thin wire of platinum. Platinum is pretty expensive, so you can't get thick wires of it uh, uh, very, expensive, very inexpensively. So I've got thin wire metal of platinum metal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat that platinum metal up. Now, when I heat it up, it starts to glow red hot. And that's not shouldn't be surprising to you, obviously. Metals, when they get hot, they glow. So I've got this platinum metal, and I've got it really hot, so hot that it's glowing red hot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, platinum metal, I'm going to stop heating it with the flame, and I'm going to put it in the flask. Watch what happens when I take this hot metal and put it in the flask. Look, it starts glowing again. It'll eventually get hot enough to ignite the vapors inside. There it goes. But I'll just continue lowering it in there. And now, notice the vapors are no longer burning. There's no blue flame, so those vapors aren't burning. There it goes again, burn again, but now the flame is gone. So this platinum wire is getting really hot because it's in these vapors. And eventually it gets so hot it ignites the vapor. But then the vapor uh, uh, goes away and the platinum wire still stays hot. Why is this? Well, there are a couple of reactions going on here, and it's really fascinating. Platinum is a really well-known catalyst. It speeds up a lot of different chemical reactions. In this case, it's speeding up two chemical reactions. The first one is the decomposition of the alcohol vapors into an aldehyde and hydrogen gas. Now, that's an endothermic reaction, so that's actually cooling the platinum down. So that's not what's causing this glow here. However, that hydrogen gas that's produced in that chemical reaction then wants to interact with the oxygen that's in the flask. That hydrogen plus oxygen makes water. That's a very exothermic reaction, and platinum speeds that up as well. So the platinum is catalyzing two different reactions. One is the reaction uh, in which alcohol vapors uh, decompose into an aldehyde and hydrogen gas. But that's an endothermic reaction, so that actually cools the platinum a bit. However, that hydrogen gas then reacts with oxygen in the air. Platinum also catalyzes that reaction and does it very, very quickly. And so in the end, the hydrogen plus oxygen making water is a very exothermic reaction, much more exothermic than the other reaction is endothermic. So in the end, the platinum gets so hot that it continues to glow. Now, if I remove it from the uh, vapor, it'll stop glowing. But if I return it to the vapor quick enough, it'll start glowing again. So in the end, it's catalyzing these vapors uh, to decompose. And that hydrogen is then burning in the oxygen to make water. And that's what's, what's causing the platinum to heat up enough to glow. 